<laughs> All right, guys, Rob's Backyard RC. So I have had multiple times where uh, my battery strap has busted on this thing from how many flips I do with it and stuff. And so yesterday, this battery strap snapped on me, I guess, when I was doing one of those backflips. Didn't realize it. Well, when this battery pack comes loose, it has all this space because that kaiju is just all big and open. And so the battery was popping around and it hit this button. And this button has been taken out probably four or five times. And I've repaired it and repaired it and repaired it. And so is what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this new ESC on. And then I'm just going to relocate this button not to be right here i think i'm going to put it right here on the side of this box so it'd be more protected from here on out if that ever happens again versus on top of this servo because it's the battery pack seems to always come up and kaboof right there so if i put that right here it should be pretty well protected right here so that's what i'm gonna do with it guys so i'm gonna get at it i've already pulled the two screws out of the bottom there are two screws that hold this on this esc and then there's a little bit of tape underneath it but once you pull those two screws out you just get a flat screwdriver or something and you just pry up and pop that thing will pop right on out of there so i'm gonna get at it and uh i will show you what happens from there i'm probably gonna have to loosen up this screw right here so i can unplug these the motor wires and then uh, plug in the new motor wi the wires to the new ESC So see look you can see that thing got messed up when the battery came down and hit it yesterday So I'll probably put a little bit of tape on that. I bought a whole bunch of shrink wrap. I might just sh re shrink wrap it Or not shrink wrap, you know what I'm talking about this stuff that they put on here for the wiring the shield I, I think it's called shrink wrap. I don't know Anyways, I bought it in the wiring department. It's for wires. But I'm going to get at it. So let's do this. So we got the old one out. Okay. So I did have to remove that one screw that was holding the motor wires. And then I did happen to see that this wire right here is pretty badly looking. And so is this one. I don't know how that happened. But either way, we're going to make sure that we recover those. And then I'm going to alcohol clean this surface right here for the new sticky or ESC tape. And it, believe it or not, it's actually called ESC tape. I bought some. And then uh, I'm going to clean the side of this box off right here where I'm going to stick the switch. And then we're going to... Oh, I have need to take the fan out of this because I have the actual um, X-Max uh, fan on this inside here versus the, the stock hobby wing fan i guess that comes in there it's uh this fan definitely blows a lot more than the stock fan so i'll be taking my fan that i installed on this one and putting it on the new one before i put it in so i'm gonna get cleaning all this stuff up i'm gonna take care of these wires right here and then i'll start putting it back together and then i'll show you guys how it works uh you guys obviously know you just open this little box unplug your ESC from right there if this is something that you need to do it's the second one the first one's your servo and that's about it I'm gonna get moving on this stay tuned all right there you guys go the brand new ESC has been installed I put the switch over here on that box like I said uh, it didn't quite work out the way I wanted to put it I was hoping I was gonna be able to put it this way but this crevice is just too tight to turn it off and on at that point so I put it right here and so up is on and down is gonna be off we'll see how well that works out if it doesn't work out then I'll just end up putting it back on here again and then just I don't know, check my battery straps every run or something because for some weird reason this particular vehicle goes through battery straps. I don't know why, it doesn't make much sense. Uh, I bought multiple different brands like these are Apex. From what I've heard these were supposed to be pretty good but I had one snap on me. So I don't know why this one keeps eating them out. There's no drive line or anything in here rubbing up on them or anything like that. I think it's just the sheer force of how I, that I send this thing 
and the weight of the batteries jerking on the straps or something. That's the only thing I can think of. Uh, the only thing that is left is to put this Power Hobby uh, fan, which is for a, an X-Max, uh, on there. And then from there, boom, we're good to go. Ready to rock and roll. So, I'm going to get that done, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And hit like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.